सो हे गाइज माई नेम इज़ ऋषभ सिंह अ फर्स्ट ईयर मेडिकल स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम ईस्टर्न मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड हॉस्पिटल कोमेला वेलकम टू माई चैनल इफ़ यू आर न्यू हेयर सो प्लीज गो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई ट्राई टू प्रोवाइड यू सम एजुकेशनल वीडियो रिलेटेड टू एम बी बी एस आई होप यू विल गेन और एक्वायर समथिंग न्यू एट द एंड ऑफ इट इफ़ यू लाइक डोंट फर्गे टू सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड कॉमेंट बिलो is welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to talk about the glycolysis and a special trick by which you can remember the glycolysis cycle easily so glycolysis is the oxidation of glucose into pyruvate or lactate with the production of atp this process is called glycolysis and we know there are two type of glycolysis aerobic glycolysis in the presence of oxygen in which we get end product pyruvate and also the anaerobic glycolysis in which we get the by product lactate in the absence of oxygen so now we will see the glycolysis or embedden meerhof pathway in detail so guys this is the first trick by which we can remember the pathway of the glycolysis cycle this the trick is great grandfather found dogs growing beaks in 32 pigeon prisons So now you might have thinking that what is the technique so here is the technique this is the trick in which you can see g as glucose g grand g as glucose 6 phosphate father f as fructose 6 phosphate found f as fructose 1 6 di phosphate d for dogs and d for dihydroxy phosphoglycerate growing as Glyceraldehyde beak says one three by phosphoglycerate. Then thirty two pigeons presents thirty two in which three is represented as three phosphoglycerate, two is represented as two phosphoglycerate, pigeons is represented as pep. Now what is pep? Pep is phosphophenol pyruvate, and uh, presents p is represented as pyruvate. Now you might have thinking that this is. in the case of aerobic respiration that the end product is pyruvate so what will be the end product of the anaerobic glycolysis so you need to add last in this trick presence last in which l which re uh, will represent the lactate and it will be in the case of anaerobic glycolysis so this is the pathway trick now trick 2 will have the trick for the various enzyme that take part in the glycolysis so this is the trick to he put the phone and try to get the plastic plate to eat pie yes the trick is he put the phone and try to get the plastic plate to eat pie this is the trick for the enzymes as you can see the technique he put the phone and try to get the plastic plate to eat pie so this is a enzyme which are used in various uh, steps of the glycolysis so in the trick h e in which he h represent hexokinase which is used in first step then put p is phosphofructoisomerase the is nothing then p for phone is phosphofructokinase and represent aldolase tri t represent triose phosphate isomerase to get g represent glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase p represent the plastic p represent phosphoglycerokinase plate for p represent phosphoglycerobutase to eat e represent anulase and p represent pi represent pyruvate kinase now you might have wondering this is the case of aerobic glycolysis so in case of anaerobic glycolysis you need to add a l which will represent the lactate dehydrogenase and we know it convert pyruvate to lactate we know lactate l here represent lactate dehydrogenase which convert pyruvate to lactate so this completes our trick on enzyme and on the glycolysis pathway so this is the whole technique by which we can remember the glycolysis between 2 minutes and this pathway you can remember each and every step along with each and every enzymes 
so this completes our today video on the glycolysis i hope you like this video if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel mbba studies with rishabh singh please like comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you